still stuff in the pouch that nobody has opened possibly that's right possibly not it appears to be a normal leather pouch i shall open the pouch while russ is going through the file. there are four things in there that um one of them is obvious here's what one of them looks like next one appears to be some sort of fur i'll give two cards to anybody who can tell me correctly what sort of fur that is and then two feathers i'll give one card each for anybody who can identify where those feathers came from like what kind of bird not where i got them from uh is it beaver fur sadly no oh there's also some, oh no that's someone oh sorry no yeah no i'm good all right cool um so it looks like teeth yep yes definitely teeth that's the one that gives uh no card although if you can identify what kind of uh human teeth those are i'll give you a card uh what, something polish? like wis yeah wisdom teeth uh less specific than that <laughs> we both stopped dead yeah oh it's easier <laughs> than that of, what okay kind of, whatever <laughs> human wisdom teeth sorry what kind of human wisdom teeth what oh i don't know unless they're like baby teeth yes yeah, take a card so they're all baby teeth so the fur is not uh uh from the beaver russ do you have a guess on the fur uh no i've got no guess on the fur um okay. both of you guys can give me natural history rolls to try to figure it out if you'd like sure might as well get a check in natural history absolutely that's what it's there for uh what about zoology that would be acceptable as well success on natural history and success on zoology fair for can anybody identify the two different kinds of feathers they are actual real life birds yep no i can't what are we looking up what kind uh, of birds so are those eight baby teeth bear fur this is what's in the pouch and two feathers from some type of birds yeah i was thinking maybe there's spell components for some kind of native native american spell those are pterodactyl feathers hmm. no pterodactyl was a very colorful motherfucker the uh, funny thing is that i think at least joshua has seen pterodactyls in his life He's yep. like, shows him having <laughs> flashbacks. Uh, lasers, lasers. Yep. And uh, no, nothing off the top of my head. I'd just be guessing. All right. Since you guys had already made natural history and zoology, that would be the barn swallow and the blue jay. Okay. Nobody cares. Anyway, so that's that's what's in the pouch. The fur? What? What's the fur? Bear. Bear? Bear? Okay. Wait, are there eggs in there too? No, no teeth. Those are baby teeth. Baby oh, teeth. Okay. The, yeah, barn, like the barn swallow and the blue jay are the feathers. I'm, uh, willing, to, I'm willing to bet that TJ's wife has uh, been hoarding their kids' baby teeth somewhere. Yeah, I'm thinking spell components or some kind of totem. Maybe they have, maybe it's a warding. Are you yeah, saying TJ's wife is a spellcaster? No, I'm talking about the pouch. Oh, right. It, it <laughs> may be linked with the doctoral thesis, which I guess I'm going to have a flick through next. Yep. What's next? So what do you think? Did he flush a baby alligator down the, down the toilet? As in what, what's in the large septic tank that he wants us to fill with fuel and burn without looking? Yes. Hey, that reminded me of something, Logan. Um, my guy uses uh, chemical little, 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 chemistry knowledge to see if tear gas in a small area is flammable. Bro, oh. yeah, maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? And he's not saying anything about it. Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? 
Yes. I thought we I thought we lost the broadcast because there's like dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said yeah, sure, why not? Right, yeah, and then after that, there was about ten seconds of dead silence. Logan was, Desert, Logan, was sh- Logan was shoving food in his mouth. Tim was I writing, and I was thinking. Yeah. What do you guys do? You're hanging out. The rain's beating down. No, we can't do anything about the septic tank right this moment. Is there any dried food? No problem. You raid the uh, guy's refrigerator. Give me a luck roll there, Tim, to see how well stocked this thing is. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of uh, canned food and shit you can eat. Sweet. I try to cook up something for us. Give me a cream roll. Can opener. Yeah. You guys get it? it is char. No problem. He destroys some food for your amusement. I shall read the doctoral thesis while he's destroying food. Holy shit. Oh, that's going to take a while. Mm. No, we, unless we're going to bugger off. Maybe he did his thesis in a pop up book. <laughs> uh, Pete, it is, it's weird kind of rubbish, but it does end up giving you a check in cryptozoology. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yay, I've regained cryptozoology. See, going to school will pay off eventually. Other than that, it's nothing you really give a shit about. So uh, one of these items constitutes evidence. I think the suit, obviously. Potentially all of it. Potentially all of it. Well, no, having FBI tapes i'd suspect it's not something that he should have no everybody in america has uh old evidence from the fbi hanging out in their homes and shit yeah, i'm thinking of the file the real the real the suit i just took the tags off <laughs> <laughs> i mean we could just chuck them in the fire or we could That's hang on to listen to when we um Get ourselves into a situation where we can potentially find a real tool to play it. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we were supposed to return it to somebody, but that was not in our mission parameters. So maybe we do this, destroy it. Well, it says deliver to drop off point number two. So okay. unless somebody knows where to deliver, if anybody knows where the drop off point number two is. Also, I'd like wait. to point out, Russ, you're still feeling as though you're possibly under the effects of something, but you don't know what. Right. Magical. Um, yeah, we don't have the glasses with us. Right. Nope. I still feel like someone's put a hex on me. Sounds What'd you have for lunch? You? What? What'd you have for lunch? Uh, I had some Smurf and some Smurf. Probably just some bad gas. He had a he had a burger from McDonald's. No, I definitely think it was some kind of magical effect. Off I of suspect that. it was oh. from him patting the Cho Cho statue. Sky Devils wings. Might be. I would hope it's. I would hope it's that I'm warded against whatever the hell that thing is. Hmm. You want to just pass the night? I mean, there is a bed that you can all curl up in together. It'll be cozy. I crash on the couch. So just two of you to spoon together on the bed. That's not two pillows. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so I, was thinking that ex- I was thinking that exact scene. Um, I walk in, tell them to quit playing Siamese twins, and then go back and lie down on the couch. <laughs> yeah. I about fucking lost it when I saw that video. That, was <laughs> that That is a disturbing video. That is super disturbing, but fucking funny. Uh, yeah, I'll take the bed. Let's let's uh, wait till morning. Sure. Morning comes, the rain goes away. 
you guys are all woken up by a single gunshot. It sounds like it's in the distance, but you know that with as racist as the USA is, by God, they're coming for you eventually. At least two of you. I was worried about the morning bringing that with it. <laughs> it all paid off. Logan, I look for a fucking orange vest. Oh, there are no orange vests here. Don't be silly. You should have bought those before you came out here. Is there any guns here? Uh, not in this building that you are currently in. Okay. so bes- There bes- are other buildings and shit. I, I was about to ask that. So besides the cabin, there was the shed with the generator in it. Mm-hmm. Any mm-hmm. other? And there was a large septic tank. Right. Uh, and, and there was a, another, uh, or actually, you haven't investigated the shed with the generator in it yet. You just okay, went in, flipped on generator. House yep, 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 yep. All right. There let us, tools we, in there and stuff. Yeah. We, let, us, let us load this stuff into the car. Okay. Done. Loading stuff into the car. And Got now it. let us check the, further check the large. As soon as I open the front door. The generator. As soon as I open the front door. Good morning, no, no, everybody! You, no, no, you're supposed to be standing there with your cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just holding the handle. Goddamn white people. All right. Yeah, so. as soon as I open the front door, it's loud as fuck. So every deer, little bunny, everything in this entire area fucks off. Good morning, everybody! <laughs> Yep. No problem. Uh, yeah, you do your best to scare off the game by announcing it's morning. Nobody, nobody's shooting at you yet, which is just an unusual the car. Start loading up the car with the shit from inside the place. Yeah. The car is now loaded up. Make a break back to the building. It just shows like bullet ricochets as he rushes back in. Yeah. I, I walk over to the shed and investigate what's in there. Right. Uh, no problem. It looks like an electrical generator, a uh, bunch of gas cans, large craftsman tool chest along one of the walls. There's also a hung on the hooks uh, is a chainsaw and various other junks. Give me a spot hidden roll at half or negative 30 there, Russ. The other two are currently uh, um, shows them like ducked down behind a bunch of sandbags, <laughs> like the old helmets on and shit. As a machine gun fire continues to rake them, it shows like clansmen out there shooting wildly with muskets and stuff. It's a success, but not a half. Uh, yeah, it's something up around here, but you can't figure it out. Okay. Hey, uh, McKay. Yes. Um. Maddox, you want to come have a look at this? There's something There's something up in this shed, but I can't quite make it out. All right, I step out. All right. Howdy, y'all! <laughs> make as, my way to the shed. As yes. DJ does his best to reenact Song of the South. <laughs> head, head over to the shed. All right. You guys make your way over to the shed. <laughs> Getting dodgy and stuff. Damn white people. And... Um, you guys are all dressed back in your men in black type. Oh, suit. I leave my suit in the in the in the car. Just my white shirt. Yeah, same yeah. Thing. You may as well just draw some concentric circles on there as a sign of peace and friendship. Yeah, yeah white tail. <laughs> we, we might want to. We might not want to be. Uh, you know, there's a reason they choose orange mm-hmm. and not white. White's very. No visible, worries. But- I've attached those feathers from inside the house to my head. It's a white stag. Shoot it. So I'm sure nothing will happen. Um, the other two guys who are not Russ give me spot hidden rolls at half or negative 30 as you guys investigate. By the way, the chainsaw glistens in the morning sunlight. Is there a wood axe around as well? Uh, probably, yeah. You, you there, there you go. There you go, Colburn. I found your wood axe. I fucking cling to it like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I investigate the chainsaw and look look if there's any like uh, blood in it. But no, there isn't. Now I've got to do that. So Minus 30. Let's see if this works. 
Yes, it yes. does. There you, you go. A couple of very faint grooves in front of the craftsman tool chest, as though it's been shifted out repeatedly. But they kind of the like one of the groove. Both the grooves are slightly curved. One is longer than the other. As uh, as if uh, it, it swivel. It swivels. Yes. I should say. Exactly. Ooh, I think that we, we we believe in you. Yes. I shall move it. No problem. Swivel it. Like a door. And behind there is some sort of really secure looking uh, large gun safe. But it looks like it's got some sort of weird tubular lock on it. You hear another. If only we if key we for had a tubular, a lock. tubular key, lock key. If only we had. Hey, Coburn. Um, you ever about the tubular shaped lock thing? No problem. It fits in. You are able to open it up. And inside, uh, let's see, are you guys back on this page? Yes, you are. Uh, down near the bottom left, can anybody identify that gun for me specifically? An it Uzi? shall now be known as, oh, that's an Uzi 9, uh, not nope. an Uzi, sorry, that's a um, Mac 10 it, machine pistol. Mac 10, Ingram Mac 10. I'll give both of you a card. It's actually not. It's its smaller cousin, the Ingram Mac 11. Does anybody yeah. have uh, gun lore rolls? Sure, why not? Has gun lore rolls. Can everybody give me a gun lore roll? No. I'm checking to see if I've actually got that as a write-in before I roll. Yeah, fair. All right, no. Yes, I do. Nice. <clears throat> Well done, you. Success and gun roll. God damn. Well done, you too. Those, those two uh, uh, know that nice. uh, noting the weapons poor accuracy in the 1970s, the International Association of Police Chiefs Weapons researcher David Steele described the Mac series as, quote, fit for only combat in a phone booth. It is wildly <laughs> short range, Short range accuracy. Yes, that's right. And 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 the fucker is going to have lots of drifts. Uh -huh. The the overlar out of curiosity, the overlarge septic tank is it oh, cement on. or hold metal? There. There's more in here still. Let me. Oh, okay, look. sorry. There's more. Is there? Okay. Yes. Uh, there's also two bolt action rifles. These are firing every other round type things. One uh, um, twelve gauge heavy pump shotgun that also fires every other round and the crazy looking small machine gun. Uh there's a grand total of three clips uh not loaded for the small crazy looking machine gun. There's a box of fifty uh three eighty ammo, three boxes, uh five rounds each. So fifteen rounds of twelve gauge ammo and thirty rounds of rifle ammo. At last all of your gun dreams are coming true. All right, I'm good with rifles. I used to. I can't remember if, I, if I've still got. Aren't you I, a shotgun I, I, dude? I was. You are the shotgun joker. Let's hope that you still know how to use it. Um, Not Logan, as well as I used to. Point of point of uh, interest is the Mac-10 a pistol in the rules 11. or a submachine gun? The uh, the Mac series Ingram. Mac 11 in this case. Mac 11, yeah. Gun submachine gun. Submachine gun, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Now. Also, I'd like to point out on this Mac 11, it has two settings, safe and full. There is no single shot setting. It's either all or nothing because they're idiots or something. I don't know. Right. It, uh, with my gun law, with my gun law role, is this legally or is this modified illegal? You check. Oh, yeah. This, that would actually be a gunsmithing role. Or okay. loading it up and pulling the trigger and see what happens. What you trying to check out? I just want to know if the thing's legal. Oh, that'd be a law roll to know about the legality. Colburn pops it open, looks at the thing, goes, this is a full auto. Yeah, that's not legal. I'll make a law roll anyway, but. Sure. Oh, hey, fuck. You're pretty sure it's not legal. In that's not legal. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, full auto legal. is everywhere. Not fucking legal. Actually, you get this when you buy two couches at Uncle Joe's Furniture. They give you one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's America. 
All right, so I grabbed myself a hunting rifle and how many boxes of rounds for the rifles were there? There are a grand total of 30 uh, rounds of ammunition, so 30 bullets. 30 you. bullets in what? Just one box? Um, probably, yeah. Yeah, uh, that sounds like a one box of rounds. Not yeah. Yeah. The, uh, no. the um, rifle is a D12 damage. Six round internal magazine fires once every other round. Is it loaded? No, nothing's loaded. Okay, I load up the magazine. You feel yeah. like a hunter. God, you wish you had an orange vest. You got 24 sure. rounds left. Anybody else there. want to take the other rifle? Yeah, I'll take the shotgun. All right, shotgun joker. It's a D12 damage uh, thing with five round internal capacity fires every other round. I grab all the other guns, load them into the trunk. Done with the ammo. Dax, you're happy again. Um, it was D12, was it? Correct. All right. I've also got what I like to call legal. Yeah, yeah, hanging out with bad company. Bad, bad company. So there you go. All right. So now getting back to your question on the septic tank, uh, you guys walk over and look at it. It's a two meter by two meter by three meter metal septic tank. It's not buried as one would expect. It's kind of up on pillars. Uh, earth piled around and shows it's been this way for years. Uh, unlike a normal septic tank, which kind of has a small hole, this has a man's manhole-sized hatch on the top that's been padlocked. Give me plumbing rolls, please. Yeah, I was going to say, is there pipes running from it? Is it actually hooked up, or is it getting used for something else? I'll take uh, a plumbing, plumbing, plumbing. Almost a fumble, but not quite. Nope. Can't mm -hmm. believe nobody took plumbing skill. What kind of campaign is this? I just took ass crack skill. There you go. Forgot plumbing. Where's the toilet in this place? Oh, there was a toilet in the cabin. Everybody's used it. So, is there water tanks for the cabin? Yeah, you go look. Yeah, yeah. They, there's, there's water and there's, there's yeah. Eh, you don't know how any of this shit works. You're kind no, of like if, 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 but I mean, there's, there's the oh. toilet has water going into it, and when we flush it, it goes somewhere. Yes. Yeah, that's I, that's what I was going to say. If we want to blow this thing, we should probably flush a bunch of gasoline down the to toilet. Well, I'd say opening it up if if the piping. I mean, if you let, don't let's see look, any piping between the two. But yeah, I was going to say we should look. A, you're not sure how it works. Yeah, uh, common. We're using we're using that thing called common sense. You, if there's any pipes, they're buried underground. Right. Yeah. Which, which would be a bit strange because, as far as I know, shit doesn't flow up. I know, I know from working in bureaucracy, shit flows down. Right. That's a good I could point. go in and flush the toilet and see if you hear any water. Good point. That's a great Do idea. That. Take a card for thinking of that nice, simple idea. Brilliant All right. Idea. I'll go in and flush the toilet. McKay, you stay out here and uh, listen for shit. McKay, give me a listen. Literally. At, <laughs> at plus 20 as you're listening for shit. Uh, listen. Where I try to take there? a big dump in the toilet before I do this. <laughs> All right, sure. Take a big old dump. Oops. Listen. Hey, I make it by a quarter or minus sixty. Oh, bitch. McKay, give me a sandy roll. You hear? Help me. Oh God. <laughs> uh, you don't hear any water or anything like that coming in though. So apparently whoever's saying help me from inside the septic tank isn't being hit by a big fucking log from the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> I did not make my listen by a quarter. All right. Yeah, yeah. You made your listen, though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I'll take a sandy roll. If you make it, it's uh, um, zero because, you know, it could be McKay doing some new ventriloquism help skill. Me. Help yeah. me. 
You look at McKay with hatred. He looks at you with hatred. <laughs> you guys hate each other so much. So when Lin when Linda starts kissing the dog, like patting the dog and hugging it and that, I go, help me, help me. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. I, um, yeah. Did you hear? Did you hear that, Maddox? I really don't want to say I did. <laughs> I usually say it when we're cooking lobsters. I uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, let's wait. Russ and... comes back out. He's uh, drying his hands with a towel. He tosses it aside. Aha! <laughs> he looks dramatic. I feel he like a new man. All right, so do we know, and do we have any idea how long since somebody's been to this cabin? Long enough spider webs have come back. Would a tracking rule help with that? Now nah, you guys have been all up in this. Yeah, we've been everywhere. Well, it was, so yeah, inside, it was a bit dusty, and there were spider webs and stuff. Yeah, uh, like you guys didn't leave a lot of tracks. No, there's no tracks in the cabin, and the outside made it rain last night. So right, who knows? yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you do notice there's, there's a hunting sign right over there. It shows the camera close up to it. <laughs> you hear uh, rifle he, shots around. You will be shot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> da, da, da. The only way I could make it more obvious is have movie posters from the movie Get Out plastered all over. <laughs> e Ebisol, we we both heard someone in there say, help me. Or oh, something. Fuck. Let's like, blow him the fuck up. Or something. Don't listen to him. What the hell is wrong <laughs> with you, man? There's somebody stuck in there. My only concern is the fact that if somebody's been in there for several months... Or weeks, however long since the old guy's been out here. Did you guys read the note? Yes, I did. Don't you think we should do what it says? What the fucking, there could be somebody stuck in there. Some other lunatic yeah. could come from another direction and stuff them down there. Okay, good point. Yeah. This lunatic could have put her down there with a bunch of food. Yep. True, true. You do have a key for it, don't you? All right, we're going to investigate. I throw yeah. the rock the keys. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I give him back the keys. You want to investigate that? You go right the fuck ahead. I stand back uh, three um, meters the, away from hang, it. Hang on a second. Was there, is there a ladder on the side of it, or was there a ladder yes, in the Yes, a little shed? short ladder. Lovely. I climb up to the tap. I grab I the key. my rifle. Sorry, it, it's rectangular, isn't it? Roughly. Yeah, well, it's, right, it's so a big... Yeah, two. I, I just mean there's enough room for two of us to be standing up there. Uh, it'd be... Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll climb up there as well. All right. I... Rock stands down there, waving around his... Uh, guys, hold on. It's a play immediately. Ooh. It's Damn like a couch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bongo. Are we throwing everything away? No, not no. yet. Just throwing two. Away. Uh, your your okay. hand will be at the size of two when you are done discarding cards. DJ. Yeah, we, we've got to go discard down. No trading. Down to two? Yeah, well, we've got to discard down anyway, so. D discard what you would have discarded normally when you discard down. Then discard two more. Nobody likes you. Everybody hates you. He's just a bad man from a bad family. Okay, let me consider this. I'm thinking that uh, that card and that card will be the ones to hang on to. Them being combat-related cards. Yep. I couldn't trade. I've got a victory and a clog in greed, so I just hung on to those puppies. I yep. threw a round revision, though. Okay. Okay. So, what do you do there with the keys, Mr. Keymaster? Open the door slowly. Just crack it first. Okay. Hey. Oh, you hear a, it sounds like a weak old woman. I look at McKay. I go to the shed and get some gasoline. I've seen I've seen Army of Darkness. I know what weak old women do. 
Try it, open the lid, shove the key. <laughs> Not that part, just open the lid. Yeah, Excellent. The right, Russ is over uh, in the shed when the inevitable happens. Right, and she goes <laughs> and explodes out and stands there, and she looks like this. Take a card for being right, Pete. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she says as we go into Groovy. Oh boy, Blair Witch. <laughs> nice. Uh, here we go. This is my boomstick. Yep. So round one. Villains are first, heroes are second, get a free ray roll. Russ, keep in mind you're way over the shed, bending over with a can of gas in one hand and your rifle in the other. Right. So, this round. What is approved? Oh, uh, sorry. Everybody give me Sandy rolls. Everybody. Oh, everybody. Well, you're going to see, see it eventually. Nothing's approved this round because horrible stuff. Because Whee! fuck you. Nothing's approved. 1.2 something. It looks like this used to be the old lady in the photographs, too. So uh -huh. zombie or although she's a uh, awfully powerful. Yeah, definitely so. goes towards zombie. You can tell. Yeah, another fucking zombie. You say. So I bet you the guy was trying to keep his wife alive. One one point towards zombie, and for this round, all the PCs uh, except for Russ, who can straighten up and walk back out of the shed. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, Tim and Pete, give me willpower times three, or stand there dumbly in shock. It must be some sort of weird magic. You think? Oh shit. Ah. Uh, nice. Table back this round. Logan, am I still feeling that magical effect having slept tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's also you, you uh, with your essence times one, it's not on the body thing that you're inhabiting, it's on the rock. Coburn's totally good with acting this round, so we'll go do normal stuff. First, Russ, you're way the fuck over there in the, in the shed. You got a gas can in one hand, and you got a rifle in there. What do you do? Um, I don't sprint. Well, is the gas can securely closed? Uh, do you want to spend some time checking it? you want to um, spend time checking it? It's no, I'll just sprint straight. over there. All right. Give me a sprint roll as you come running back with one can of gas and a rifle in their hand. Jesus Christ. Holy I simple action over there. Holy fuck. All right. No problem. You're halfway back, even with a simple action. Right. And uh, Pete, what are you doing? This is my boomstick. That's funny. The fact that you had the picture of that chick. Good for you. Uh, D12, you say. Uh -huh. No, my dex is not anymore. Does that actually apply to guns? Yep. Uh, yeah, if you got a dex yep. of 80 or better, then you get a bump in damage with guns because you're awesome. Five damage. Is this a 25% chance or less to disintegrate her or no. to a different type of zombie? Different. Beautiful. And Do you want us to keep... Do you want us to keep track of damage, or are you doing it? Please do. Just the, oh, sorry. Also, uh, in the future, uh, roll uh, one die down from uh, some sort of armor or some shit. Yep. Resman, what do you do? I can, I can re-roll if you want. No, I'm good. Five is fine. All right. It's tough. She can take it. Uh, ah! she, she is currently flying off of the thing, having gotten shot. Oh, oh, shit. Well, there goes that idea. Um, well, you can still jump at her. I'm going to try to use my axe like a fucking bat and smack her back down in it. Hey, she's getting shot off of the thing right now. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I mean by there goes that idea. Um, uh, I move behind the shotgun wielding guy and ready action for if she comes in. Give me a maneuver roll, and uh, you're done. She comes within close range. Uh, you have to. All right. Got it. And she regenerates one point of damage, Pete. Hang, and hang, 
Hang on a second. Burr. I'm playing haste. Ooh, she goes, Burr. and I'll shoot her again. You can't. Have a... Your next round goes. Ch -ch -ch. Remember ah, one yes. round every other round? Yeah. All right. So would that mean that I can shoot next round then? Because I'm yes. reloading as the second action. Right. Yes. Beautiful. All right. She, goes, she regenerates. I just want to make sure I heard you right. Did you say the magic is now on the lock? Yes, the rock. The oh. rock. You are the, the rock. When oh, I say oh, I'm sorry. Rock. I thought you said the lock. That's why I was I was confused. No, yeah. No. You are the rock. Okay. Now, if you were in Asia, the maybe magic was in you all along. along. Oh, fuck you, Logan. <laughs> fuck <it. laughs> Surprise! Next round, heroes are first, but villains are second and hasted. She's going with one of her actions as a dodge. Uh, not attacking is approved. Russ, you are uh, the furthest away. You're a simple action away from the tank. Uh, a wee bit further from her. What do you right, do? So I can hit her at range. I put the gas tank down and just set it down carefully or drop set it? Set it down carefully. That's that's You're my down. action round. Okay. And we go to Joshua McKay. Uh, behind you, uh, you see Colburn is sitting there stroking his axe in a very sexual way. <laughs> she says. She's going for the dodge thing, see if she can avoid that. Wah! She says, Wah! she's a ninja zombie. I'm assuming she avoided that. Yes. And TJ. Um, she's a simple her... action away, but you'd have to jump down. You could jump on her if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, fuck all that. Um... Everybody's <laughs> shooting at her. Were there multiple rifles? Yes. Uh, you think back. Yeah, they're in the truck. You put them in the car. Haul yep. ass car. Give me a sprint roll as you uh, jump or, or jump roll. Either one because you're going to be doing both. Uh, let's see. Or you could just fall off here and land yourself. Ah, my ankle! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling a fumble card for extra fun. Look at how much fun Logan's having. Holy Christ! You land badly. Roll a d6 damage on yourself as you hear something crunch. Oh, yeah. By the way, Logan, um, uh, Dora healing overnight. We didn't do that. I'm down three. Yeah, go ahead and try a willpower roll. Don't forget in the future. Crit. You are completely fine other than any damage you've taken today. Right. Ah. No oh, problem. You're crit. pretty Smooth sure Colburn's managed to cripple himself. <laughs> so now we go to right. For, uh, any of that stun? No, no. You're pretty sure you managed to snap off your foot, but you can still hobble on it. That is fumble card, very, very real. <laughs> and uh, for her action, uh, she has one action left. She spends it going <laughs> because she's into it. And next round. Yes, she spent a whole action laughing. The ones are first. Babbling incoherently is approved. Right. For her action, she runs like a fucking deer through the woods. Oh, she regenerates a point of damage again, Pete, for reasons. And she sprints off like a deer. Let's see how she does. Babbling. Check her stats. She's actually really good at sprinting. That's like a couple months of gaming experience. Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Like a fucking deer through the woods, sprinting away. Holy shit. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, she hasn't got a lot of skills, but those that she's got, apparently she's got them high. So, uh, she's sprinting away. And we now go to Hero's turn. Uh, Razvan, your leg is in so much pain. Would you like to spend your time hobbling over to the car and then opening the trunk? Yes. Done. Rock. I'm going to take a shot at her. Go for it. She's running like a fucking deer. Oh, Jesus. Fumble card. Here comes the fumble train. Nah, fuck oh. it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up. I don't, Are you I don't, sure? It could be mild. 
I, I, yeah, I don't feel lucky. Okay. I'm going to reroll that. Plus, she's going to get away. Yeah. All there right. we go. I was really hoping that you'd shoot one of the party members. Eight. Did uh, you already reduced your damage with the rifle? Good job. Yeah, D10 instead of a D12. Good man. Yeah. Good job. Uh, she takes eight. Mm -hmm. And then she'll regenerate one. Uh, Pete. She's up to 11 at the moment. She's looking uh, she, pretty fucking wounded, but her regeneration. Um, I'm assuming she's greater than 10 meters away from me now. Uh, if you simple action forward, well, okay. If you fall off of the thing the, that you're standing on, um, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, she is. You want to take a shot at half? No, oh, can I jump down slash simple action down and shoot her? Uh, I'll ask for a jump roll, but yes, you could. All right, I will do that then. You could do what uh, Colburn did and break his butt. He likes breaking his foot. It makes him happy. maybe he'll break my fall. Yes. Well, he's already moved away because he knew you were gonna. <laughs> hey, I, I, I didn't fumble. No, but you're you're uh, in such a bad position that you're going to be at half as you're trying. You're basically shooting wildly at this point. Yep, yep, yep. I will try it just because. No, I won't. Right I, shall, I shall reload this round. Ah, excellent. And we now go to next round. As in, I'll chamber another round into it because it's. TJ, you just had a horrible thought. Uh, you don't think that uh, anybody bothered to load the rifles that are in the trunk? I will. Right. I'm running. Mm -hmm. All right. Heroes are amazingly first, but villains are second and hasted. She chooses dodge as one of her things, and running like a fucking deer through the woods as they are. Nothing is approved because. Eh. All right, so here's the first rock. You are in the best shot thing, but you have to go. I'm chunk. reloading. I'm reloading. Can I run? Can I sprint and reload at the same time? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll allow that. If you can make a simple, actually, if you if you can make a um, your choice of either the sprint or dex roll at negative ten. The dex rolls for going chunka chunka. The sprint roll. Yeah, is the sprint is better. I'm Go for it. Hang on, I'm putting the modifier in. Hmm. Use that character sheet. Yeah. Add quarter. No problem. You're very nice. You're staying. You're staying uh, Wait a minute. I put minus ten into the modifier box, and it didn't do minus ten. It's not at a quarter. It's at half. Got. Got it. Well, hold on. Seventy-five divided by four. No, it is at a quarter. <laughs> it's at minus sixty. We're good. Give me a dex roll then. This you need a good. dex roll now too? Yes, I did say uh, uh, and. You, you said all. Oh, you sorry. Said all say, yeah, give me the dex roll to go kachunk kachunka. At minus 10 as well? No, full. All right. No. You can't get the gun reloaded, but you are keeping up with the psychotic bitch. So now we go over to Pete. I'll simple action forward and shoot her. Rock is kind of in the way a bit, so don't miss. I believe you're at half also because she's more than 10 meters away, so definitely don't miss. Or if you miss, miss by more than 30. If you miss by more than 30, you won't hit anything. If you miss by less than 30, probably shoot Rock in the back. He won't I can be take it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if Rock was on an angle because of yeah, him being over at the Yeah, I wouldn't be running and, directly yeah. after the Logan. Because uh, he was over at the I shed didn't say and an angle. the tank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Assuming... Let's, let's go with this. Uh, Rock, give me a luck roll at half, and then right. we'll be uh, getting shot. Quarter. Oh, fuck it, yeah. You discharge your firearm in the direction of the uh, psychotic uh, fleeing uh, individual. All right, so I'm at half. So even... So she's. You're not at half anymore, are you? Yeah, because she's still greater than ten meters away. Oh right, right, right. Because the shotgun is short range, you yeah, know. Okay. Yeah, shotgun's only got a range of ten meters. Yeah, got it. Go Pete, no. go. No Pete, no. Wow, you really oh, uh, shotgun skill. And that's right. But I would have made it if it wasn't if I wasn't. She was closer than ten meters. No worries. 
I think TJ's loading or TJ's grabbing the rest of the. Oh wait, do you have the rest of the rifle ammo on your rest? Um, no, I did not write that down. Great, TJ's grabbing that and a rifle. TJ, you grab the rifle ammo and the rifle. Fortunately, they're both together. How many? And, how many rounds can uh, this rifle carry? Uh, Russ, how many did I mention to you? It's a six-round clip uh, magazine. Nice. But you probably have to load the magazine. It's a bolt action, so you can definitely put. You can definitely just manually chamber around. Yeah, you can put in one round at a time if you wanted to. Um, but loading the loading the magazine is going to take some time. Yeah, it'll take longer than you'll longer than the combat will probably be going, is my guess. Doesn't yeah. have the magazines loaded. No. Weird ass fucking guy is this? All right. We did not load the mag. We did not load the rifles. He didn't want to wake into springs. I wouldn't keep the magazine loaded. Nope. No. Anyway, we carry on. She continues her fleeing. Let me see how she does on her fleeing because she's super good at sprinting. Missed it by that much. Oh and shit. Yeah, she's she's better than you at sprinting, but yes. um, yeah. So she simple actions away, some more. So that puts her from. I think the closest person is probably the rock. I think she's. Uh, you guys know what? Do you guys know what your distances are? From TJ, she sprinted once and simple action. So she's fourteen meters from uh, that plus. Uh, so from TJ, about eighteen twenty meters. From the rock, I uh, let's see. She sprinted. You sprinted. So you're probably at about eight meters, and then Pete, I think you're at fourteen meters. Okay. Everybody, keep track of your own fucking distances, please. Shit, what'd you say for me? Twenty. What did you say for me? <laughs> fourteen. No, no, Rock was closer. Than no, I was closer. Rock, I made a sprint. Oh, I was, four, I was rock is, uh, six meters. Yeah, that's because right. Rocket, because Rocket sprinted. I was thinking yeah. twenty-four feet. So yeah. Cool. All right. Now, also keep in mind that when you get further away from Pete, if he falls behind, which he may, then you're not. The angle thing is only works yeah, like yeah, one yeah. coming in. After that, you're pretty much just going to shoot him in the back. Yeah. So, well, rifle has range, so I'm probably just going to stand here and shoot at this point. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, villains are first. Flapping your arms and like wings and making caw noises is approved. And for her round, she sprints like a gazelle through the woods, uh, getting another ten meters away from everybody. Please make a note of it. I'm assuming she regenerated a hit point. You are correct. She also regenerates one for this round. I forgot to tell you for last round to regenerate. Yeah, no, no. I, I'd marked it down for last round. I just wasn't ah, sure. Man. All right, so TJ, you're sure it, was, it wasn't just every time she gets damage. It's actually yeah. one per round. What's the range of this rifle, roughly? I can double check, but I believe rifles have like 100. Let me look, though. Rifles are 100. Thank you so much. 100 meters. Like, nice. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it'll take, a while. it'll take a while to load that shit, though. I yep. wanted to double check shotguns. I just load one bullet. Yeah, let me let me double check shotguns. Got it. That shotguns. That's your you can also simple action in the direction of her. Mm hmm So that's in there uh, uh, three meters there, T. You, oh, you check you double check the shotguns, Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know shotguns are ten. They used to be okay. greater than ten, you moved them down to ten. Yeah, what's okay. the sprint worth? What's yes. a, what's a successful sprint worth, Logan? Ten meters. Ten meters. Okay, so she's twenty six meters, right? You stated moved shotgun range down to 10 meters after watching some videos on it. I mean, you can shoot stuff greater than 10 meters, but that's big, unless you've got, you right. know, you've got the usual issue of spread and stuff like that, because we're not worried right. about chokes and other yep. complicated stuff. Okay, so uh, Rock, you sprint after her? Or no, a simple action towards her and reload my rifle. Okay, and Pete? I shall attempt to sprint and pump the shotgun same same thing as rock you can choose negative 10 on the decks or you can uh, choose negative 10 on the sprint you're going to do both rolls so yeah all right uh i think my 
sprint and my decks are the same now. Yes, they are. I'll do the negative 10 on the sprint. Enjoy. Oops, I need to put that back to one. It looks like she is intent on fleeing from you guys for some reason that you cannot figure out. I wonder why. My intent is when I'm sprinting is that I'm not going to, I'm more, I'm going to go parallel to where Rock is. I don't want to actually put myself between Rock and her. Uh, then that will put you less closer to her as you're trying to sprint off the way. So yeah, no, I don't, I don't manage my up. sprint roll. You, you walk up to, you walk toward Rock's back, slowly and stalking through the floor. puts me 21 meters away from her. In the and distance here, get it, get it, get it. And I fail to get the round chambered as well in my stumbling around. All right. You bumble toward rock from clutching your uh, shotgun and trying to figure out how you were ever able to make it work in the old days. Mm -hmm. So we now go to, I believe, next round. Everybody went? Yes. Cool. Did Tim sprint? TJ? Oh, yeah, she sprinted first. No, he, he walked. He chambered around, around, right. Around. And let's see. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Tim, you're thinking if you want to spend around climbing back on the septic tank, you'll be able to shoot down at this crazy bitch because they're not chasing her. And so that, that way you don't have to worry about hitting anybody unless you wildly miss, which is very possible. Villains are first, letting out a battle cries approve. She regenerates and uh, sprints like a gazelle, making another 10 meters away. Please make a note on your ranges. Like a gazelle. I believe Tim's furthest away. What do you do? I get up on top of the septic tank and Give me a climb roll. Oh. You're, you're even uh, uh, the only reason I'm asking for a climb roll is because you're trying to juggle a rifle and shit as you're climbing. Well, I and, and a knife. Knife. rifle. <laughs> yeah, you've got a shotgun and rifle in each hand. I have a shotgun. Where the fuck did that oh, sorry. A rifle. You've got a rifle and an axe. One no, the axe is in the car. I don't need okay. the axe. I am not Lothar of the Hill people. Yeah, I just give me, give me a climb roll at uh, plus twenty to get up these short thing of steps with your gimpy foot and your, your rifle. Skip that. I need a card. I just stand there with my rifle going. And over to the rock. She's moving fast. I yell. Not a work. 